Hi there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J. Rockliffe Realtors and welcome to our monthly market update. Today is Thursday, December 2nd and I've got a full update for you just to share with you what's going on in our real estate market here in the Greater East Bay, which the East Bay market is the 580, the 680 and the 24, the clip of the 24. What we've got right now is an interesting time. You know, a lot of people are asking me right now, how's the market? Well, a lot of that depends on what your plans are and what you're doing. Um, you know, real estate is, is changing every day and statistics right now look pretty good as far as where we've been and where we're likely to be headed as far as change in the future. So right now, I'm going to give you a little update. In our East Bay market, we've got 2,191 homes actively listed for sale, which is about 25%, 30% less than we had just 45 days ago as far as inventory. So traditionally, seasonally, we were... Um, lower than normal as far as inventory is concerned, so that's a good sign. It's a good sign for those of us that want to get out there and get our homes sold before the flood of inventory tends to hit the market come the first part of the year. I mean, right now we've got uh, 1,552 homes currently pending in our market, which is actually a pretty stable number. A little bit less than what we had a few months ago, but um, stable pendings. And what today's consumers, what the buyers are really looking for, and I hear from families that we're helping buy homes every day, is buyers are buying, no doubt. I mean, 1,552 homes pending is a good solid number. Buyers are just looking for values. Most homeowners today, what we've discovered is they've all become very realistic in what today's market is, pricing their homes well to compete with the market. Um, a lot of what we're helping our clients right now a little bit more intensively than we had in recent years is to prepare homes properly for sale. Positioning the home is a key element today to getting your home sold at the top price of you know, what the market will bear today. But buyers are looking for value, so you really have to look at positioning, which when we get together to talk about helping you if you have a plan to sell your home, we can talk about that kind of strategy. Um, and year to date, right here in our market, we've got 5,752 homes um, currently closed escrow which is a little bit less than this time last year. Last year we had 6,648 homes sold through you know, nearly the end of the year or through the first part of December. So basically numbers looking consistent, just buyers looking for very good values at this point. So you really have to watch um, your competition and what's going on in your specific neighborhood. And really the market is actually very, very neighborhood sensitive. Some areas doing better than others. So it just depends on what your current little environment's doing. Um, and I wanted to share with you, one of the questions that I get a lot is, how much is the bank-owned market affecting us right now? How, you know, how are the short sales affecting us? What's the percentages in each area? So what I did was I highlighted a couple of the, the, the cities in our market, and I wanted to share with you what's going on. San Ramon, again, a very central part of our market. 11% um, of the homes are what you would call short sale, or actually, I'm sorry, 11% of the homes are bank-owned sales. 32.2% of the homes are short sales. So a pretty good percentage of what you would say short sale bank-owned in the Santa Ramon market, which doesn't surprise because there's a lot of new construction in that area. Um, that would indicate a little bit more of those, those types of issues. Here in Danville, we've got 7.5% bank-owned and 19% short sale. So good, a short sale um, number increasing a bit in, in the Danville market, something that we need to watch real closely. Um, and as far as Dublin, 12.8% bank owned, 35% uh, short sale. Dublin's the highest as far as the short sale market right now. Uh, Lafayette, 6.9% bank owned and 10% short sale. And then last but not least, as far as the, the few cities that I wanted to highlight, Pleasanton, 10% short sale and 14% bank owned. So what I do, I actually have a full detailed, which I wanted to share with you, six page report available um, on each of the cities that in, our, in our greater East Bay. So it's a very detailed statistical analytical um, market update. If you have questions, go to our website. We update the information every day and that website address is www.thedoyleteam.com and you can get an actual update on your small little area. So you can be more, um, you know, up to speed as far as your, you know, your neighborhood and your, your area. But as far as overall what we're seeing in the market, um, definitely inventory will begin to increase. Always January, February, March, probably the best three months of the year to sell your home where you don't have as much competition. Something to think about when you're planning strategically to get your home ready for sale. 
But boy, if you have questions, and as soon as you are getting to the point where you're ready to approach um, the preparations for sale, we would be honored to come apply for the job of helping you sell your home. If you have any more detailed questions, of course, call me anytime. My name again is Lisa Doyle. My telephone number, 925-890-7443. And that's my cell phone direct. Call me anytime. I'll talk to you soon.